how to make a moving train let's get it all right guys jumping right into it so the first thing you want to find is your prop mover which you will get in the um devices category if you don't know how to get that you can watch my previous video on tips and tricks using um fortnite creator i'll have it in the description down below right now that you have your prop mover you just want to put it right there i have one right here with all the settings panel this is very very important that you follow this or you will run into a lot of problems trust me <laughs> trust me all right so gameplay only you know 400 meters that the distance you want to run no you don't want that um this is the speed i don't know what speed you all will want it to run at but you saw my demonstration at the beginning so if that speed is good enough for you, that is 5 meters per second, you can experiment with how much ever you want. Alright, start um, time from start, you know, or collision behavior, continue, damage, there is an AI damage or collision, none, all of these are just going um, off and none, continue, none, continue, none, all. <clears throat> Alright. And then you want to put the start on a trigger. So basically you're looking for start and receive it from and you go channel one, two, three. For me, I have a lot of channels in this map, so I use channel 30. Okay. It is very important that you note that you could only put so much devices on a certain channel, like 30. I don't know what is the max amount, but you could only use so much. I'm telling you this because this is what your train will look like or anything that you're building that moving will look like when you finish yeah this is it all of these are prop movers because anything that is moving with your train has to have a prop mover attached to it and all of them basically is going to start on channel 30 or for you channel 1 or whatever so make sure and work that in before because you're going to build this whole thing and you won't have enough um your channels will be working and you'll just have stuff left by, behind and you will know why all right so make sure and take that into consideration okay so once we have our prop mover up and ready obviously you want to point in the direction that you want your train to go or whatever you're building to go straight all right well i built this train a while ago it's a whole train station um <clears throat> i wasn't really planning on building it over but uh i could just tell you guys where you can find this stuff is basically a box yeah a box with some chairs some poles you know some stuff to make it look like a train just get a train for reference and build a train but anything that you put on the train that you want to move any individual item or prop you have to put a prop mover on it all right okay now that that is done you have your prop mover that is the most important part you just want to as i say attach it to everything you want to attach it to everything on your tree so this is how you would know when it's attached only when it lights up see that blue lighting i mean it is attached then you know you know it's working it's on there if it is not attached it will not light it will glow like a kind of reddish meaning that is attached or nothing make sure it is attached the next thing i did was for the doors to stay open when the game starts i used this device which is the lock device all right this lock device you can find it in devices name of it is the lock device i went in i got it i went in the settings and i just set this device to unlock when receiving from channel 30 and to close 
when receiving from channel 30. So when I trigger the prop mover for everything to move, the door would unlock and it will move, right? This is because I started to the initial positioning of the door to be open. Meaning when the game starts, the door will be open and it will be locked. Because as you know with these doors, if you just walk close to it, it opens. If you walk away from it, it closes. That's how these, work, these doors work. So if you want them to stay open and to stay closed, you have to lock it from the start. Alright? The next major thing is a trigger. This can also be found in the devices category. It is called the trigger. Alright? All I simply do, well, activating team is any. And I, well, I set a delay to mine. So when you trigger it, this is triggered just by walking by it. So you will sit on the chair or something and it will just start. Well, my delay is three seconds. So once you get too close to this device, it will start. And it is on channel 30. So it says, um, when trigger, transmit on channel 30. So when you trigger this trigger, <laughs> it um, transmits on channel 30 to tell the prop movers to move. And everything starts working. All right. Um, this is a kind of rush video, so I hope this helps. If it helps, well, let me know. All right, and that's basically it. Once you put everything together, you just hit that trigger. That's it. Let's give it a test run. All right, so you see here, the door's initial positioning is open because you know when the train stop, the doors be open for those who have seen trains. <laughs> All right, so it's still open. You can run up and on the train. But as long as I go by this chair, remember, right by that chair there is where the trigger is. So just walk by the trigger and everything sets off. Three second delay and boom. Look at that. We move in. I don't know why it has the splitting wrong. I know it does that sometimes, but don't pay too much attention to that. And yeah, we move in. We go in. Whole train station. It's nice. Um, but yeah, that's about it guys. If this helped you out, please subscribe, share it, you know. I really try to get up there. Alright, so thanks a lot for viewing. I'll see you guys in the next video.